Okay, so this particular effect is something I have been wanting to do for a really, really long time. And I have got this inspiration from Nir Nangal's video. In the video in which he showed how to convert a daytime footage into a nighttime footage. So in this particular video, I am going to just modify the effect a little bit and create an epic kind of a rain effect like this. and just add in with sound effects and proper music and stuff, it looks like this. So doing this is pretty simple, all you need to do is you need to have some stock footages of a rain and some thunder and some clouds if you want to and some proper sound effects and the music and the footage of a person standing where the sky is visible properly so that you guys can show the thunder and all the other stuff. So I made this effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Premiere Pro then skip to this portion and if you have come for Final Cut Pro then skip to this portion. And with that being said, what's up guys, Special Sammy here. Well then to my next video. I hope you guys are having fantastic holidays in December. Merry Christmas in advance. And with that being said, let's just start it. Now I am going to show for Final Cut Pro and this is the footage which I have taken and this is a rain footage and this is another rain footage and this is the thunder footages. You can get it anywhere on the internet or the asset file is there in a download link below. So go to the effects panel, type in day into night and drag the day into night clip onto the main clip. Now in the FS control panel, go to the first frame, set a keyframe to the amount and set it to 0. Do a few frames later, set a keyframe again and set it back to 100. And you can change the brightness whatever you like. And untint the match iMovie. Now let it render and it will look something like this. Now drag the rain footage over this footage and drag the another rain footage over this footage as well. And change the blending mode to screen. It can be screen or light in whatever you feel like. But I guess screen will look better, so make sure it is at screen only. So just adjust it so that you get a flawless kind of a rain effect. Like for this one, as it is slowly graduating into night time, the rain is increasing as well. So as it is slowly gradually increasing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a keyframe to the opacity for the maximum rain one. And I'm going to set a keyframe again. And for the first frame, I'm going to set the opacity back to zero. So it will be gradually increasing from zero to 100%. And for the main clip also, I'm going to set the rain at around 29% because 100% is a bit too much. So I'm going to keep it at 29% so it will look much, much better like this. Like the rain is slowly and gradually increasing. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just add the thunder to these clips, like this one. What you need to do is, you need to add a key in effect over this clip, which you can get in the effects panel or anywhere on the internet. So just add a key in panel and change the transform and transform and adjust the thunder as per the clip. Like it will vary from each clip to each clip, so adjust the thunder as per your clip 
and then key the thunders as per your clip adjust the opacity as per your clip change the blending mode as per your clip and make sure it looks like it is a part of the clip and not something externally added only then this effect will look good and then add the second thunder effect as well and readjust it so that it looks perfectly normal with the clip i'm going to just fast forward this portion because this will vary upon your clip and what kind of a clip you guys use you can color grade the thunders also if you see that the desired result is not matching with the color of the main footage so you can color grade the clip also adjust the exposure and the highlights of the clips so that it looks better and then after that align with everything with proper color grading and all and just let it render and this will look something like this Now I'm going to show for Premiere Pro. So this is the clip which I have taken, and this is the same clip color graded with a darkish tone, so that it looks like it is taken at a night time. And this is the thunder footage. The link is in the bio for this asset files. And this is the rain footage, and this is another rain footage. So just drag the color graded clip over the clip, over the main clip. like this is a simple color graded clip for the main clip like i've just adjusted the exposure and the white balance and the brightness and all just adjust it and it will be pretty much done now go to the first frame and set a keyframe to the opacity and set it to 0 go few frames later set a keyframe again and set it back to 100 and then this will give you a gradual fade in effect like from day to night i don't know if there is a proper plugin for this purpose but you know to do this thing This is how you do it. Just color grade the same footage in some darkish tone so that it looks something like this. And then drag the rain footage over the main footage. And change the blending mode to screen for both the clips. And then this will look something like this. Like the black portion is completely invisible now and only the thunder portions are visible. I am sorry my computer is a bit slow for this kind of rendering processes so the thunders are not properly visible right now but if you guys try it will definitely be visible so just render this out and this will look something like this like now it is visible because it is rendered out properly but before it was a bit slow so it was not rendered out properly Now what you're going to do is we're going to just add the rain effects. We're going to add the second layer of rain effect as well. We're going to just trim the rain effect because it is a bit too long. I'm going to just synchronize the rain effect as per my day to night transition because when it's transitioning into a night time I am thinking of putting the rain effect into that particular portion. Like now it is at the rain effect so I'm going to just change the blending mode of this particular clip to screen and the upper one also as well to screen but before that i'm going to just reduce the size and then from the upper clip i'm going to change the blending mode to screen as well as this second layer has a bit heavy rain so what we're going to do is we're going to just keyframe the opacity so that it looks more seamless so go to the first frame set a keyframe to the opacity and set it to 0 go free frame later set a keyframe to the opacity again and set it back to 30 and not 100 because it is a bit too much So that is pretty much it. Just let it render because this will take some time rendering. And after rendering, this is your final result.
so much for watching guys hope you liked my video so if you are into cinematography filmmaking videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff i do in my channel the free stuff the transitions the plugins the alerts the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time i make a new video so let's just join our hands and make this family make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos for the later videos for the future videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on instagram at this particular link and i will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as i get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace